South Australia has always been progressive with recycling storm and effluent water, with community wastewater schemes set up by local councils. Mount Barker Council has been at the forefront of water reuse. Here's all this water, how can we do better things with it? Because at the end when it's treated, we sort of started using it for farms, uh, things like that, and uh, been quite uh, progressive since, you know, sort of about the um, you know, sort of early 90s, really, with water resources being a critical part. For many years, the treated water flowed into the Mount Barker Creek, and the impact on the ecology of the creek was becoming an issue. So a large artificial wetland was built to filter the water further. They developed the Laratinga wetlands where they could actually polish the effluent and take that across uh, before putting it into the creek. So got some very good qualities before putting into the creek. From there, looking at reuse opportunities with uh, some of the farmers, expanded. Also with starting to irrigate our parks and gardens. One of the uh, critical parts about with uh, generation of wastewater is year round. A lot of our irrigation is during summertime. So we do need some storage so we can store the winter's generation so we can reuse it for summertime. Laratinga was designed to you know, sort of purify it, not a huge storage. And so that's why we need additional storage like, like the dam that we've done here. So this is a fairly big uh, wastewater dam you know, for a rural council, 120 megalitres. The dam will provide an important storage opportunity for treated wastewater and will facilitate the reuse of up to 700 megalitres of water per year. A number of councils have been getting into reuse. Mount Barker is the largest council scheme in, in the state. With the size, you know, we generate about an eighth of the total wastewater from councils and we'll be reusing 100% of it. So we're getting into uh, huge economic benefits from that way. With the dam at full capacity, the local mine put their hand up to use the recycled water. It sort of grew out of, out of chance just through informal discussions with the council um, that, that they had sort of excess reclaimed water at the time and came up as an opportunity that we could possibly use that. We did test work with the water on our processing and it became clear that we could use the water. And original sources were looking to be local bore water plus the SA water scheme, which is going to draw down on the Murray. They were both going to cause us problems from a sustainability point of view and our impact on the local communities. From the Laratinga treatment facility, it comes to, to, the, to the Brown Dam, which is positioned behind us. And from here, there's about a 17 kilometre pipeline. It's a 20 mil diameter pipeline with plenty of capacity above what, what the mine needs. So I guess it really is a bit of sustainable infrastructure for other users as well. At the suggestion of local community member Neil Turner, the pipeline was further extended to Callington for use on local ovals and parks. With consultation with Hillgrove and Council came the opportunity or the prospect was raised about bringing Laratinga waters out to Camman 2 to run the mine. And I suppose me being sitting, um, sitting on the committee like I was, I thought, hmm, good information. If they're going to bring it that far, why the hell can't we bring it a little bit further down the road and bring it to Cullington so we can water our ovals? Just a case of extending the pipeline a couple of extra k's and we'd be able to provide the water into Callington. So this gives us the opportunity to splash a bit of water around for town beautification and upkeep of the oval, etc. So that's, um, that's, that's a great win as well. I think a real positive at the moment is Council, Hillgrove and the community here are working so well together to get this project up and running and the benefits at the end of the day are going to be great for all concerned. I think that's something that we don't see enough of in a lot of communities. It's too much aggro against councils. But here I think the way we're working together and everybody's benefiting the mines, the council, because they're getting rid of their water. It's costing them a bit of money, but they will recoup that through the system. And everybody else will save at the end of the day. So it's a matter of looking outside the square. If you come up with an idea, see if you can progress it. And that's really what we've done here.